Good morning, students, and uh, welcome to the class of English. Today, I, Pankaj Singh Thapa, your English teacher, welcomes you in this second video of the chapter Silk Road. Children, today we'll discuss about the summary and important word and their meanings of this chapter. So let's start. Silk Road is summary about the author's journey, which starts from slopes of Ravu to Mount Kailas. This was to complete the Kora. Children, I have already explained you the meaning of Kora in my previous video. That it is one round around Mount Kailas, and it is considered religious in Hindu as well as Buddhists. Thus. it gives us an account of the journey they experience moreover the main aim of the journey was religious mostly we see that the author wishes to complete the journey to mount kailas thus in order to embark on this pilgrimage journey he chooses a tough one further the author hires seaton the driver and takes along daniel as an acquaintance to chaperon him to darchin i have already told you daniel was his friend and seaton driver consequently we learn about his journey and his experience through the silk road he mentions how the people in hilly areas are rather sensitive the author goes on to witness the beauty of lake mansarovar and Dachin later on when he reached there, and uh, moreover he faces a lot of difficulties, but is able to complete his pilgrimage due to his undeterred faith. So the author of the story, Nick Middleton, describes his journey to Mount Kailas in Silk Road. In order to complete his kora, the author visits. to visit mount kailas thus he hires seaton so that he gets someone for driving up to the mountains because you know if you are not a habitual driver uh, driver of the mountains it's very difficult for a newcomer because at many places in the extreme mountains it's very difficult to travel until unless you have some kind of experience so while he was parting with lamo he receives a long sleeved sheep skin coat i have already told you lamo she was a local resident a woman who offered a long sleeved sheep skin coat to the author in order to get companionship the author takes daniel with him till darchin and after that daniel moved to some other place Upon starting their journey, Seaton takes a shortcut to the southwest. He says uh, it is a direct route to Mount Kailas. In order to reach their destination, they would have to come across the high mountain passes. However, Seaton assures them that due to lack of snow, it would be easy to do so. On their way, they cross through a small number of gazelles, a herd of wild asses. and shepherds that were tending the flocks gazelles actually it's a variety of or a species in exactly of deer so the author encountered gazelles wild asses and shepherds on his route to mount kailas upon reaching the hill they noticed dark tents they learn they were nomads homes and see a tibetan mastiff guarding the tents when they reached near the tents dogs with large jaws ran after the car that is the tibetan mastiff and uh, then upon entering the valley they witnessed mountains and rivers covered in snow and ice the ride on the hill starts turning sharper and bumpier because when there is end of green zone and start of snow line 
then what happens till the part where there is no snow there is cold desert rocks mountains stones so the road is not a metal one so the ride becomes sharper and bumpy as they reached higher the author could feel the pressure and noticed that they were at the altitude of 5210 meters above sea level after clearing the first hurdle of snow filled roads they were on and about the author starts feeling uneasy due to height and pressure at around 2 o'clock in the afternoon they stop for lunch finally they reach a small town hor in late afternoon the author took a break in hor and sat at local cafe sipping on tea children you might remember i mentioned what a small old shop so that has been termed here as local cafe during this time seaton got the car fixed and daniel left for lahasa that is tibet the author did not like hor too much upon resuming the journey they said they stayed the night at a guest house in darjin and we see that he suffered from nose congestion his sinuses got blocked due to the altitude change and chilly weather he goes to see a tibetan doctor and receives a 5 day course medication of that ayurvedic medicine after that he feels better and enjoys his stay at darjin where he meets another pilgrim norbu as darjin had no pilgrims the author finds relief and decides to complete his pilgrimage with him finally they hire yaks for their luggage and norbu gives up while collapsing across the table and laughing norbu says it would not be possible for him and he also had a big tummy so both the co-travelers were very happy that they were accompanied by each other and it was nice to travel in the mountains in a company if we conclude this chapter so we learned about the author's journey through the silk road and the determination of pilgrims and not only pilgrims the trekkers also and the hardships they face so this chapter makes you more strong towards life it provides you courage to face everything with full zeal and enthusiasm children now let's just uh, go through some important words and their meanings which have been used in this chapter envisaged means contemplate or conceive of as a possibility or a desire desirable future event pilgrimage a pilgrim's journey realization an act of becoming fully aware of something as a fact gesture a movement of part of the body especially a hand or the head to express an idea or meaning stripped marked with or having stripes wreathed cover surround or encircle cavernous like a cavern in size shape or atmosphere bustling move in an energetic and busy manner babble talk rapidly and continuously in a fullest excited or incomprehensible way in congress not in harmony or keeping with the surroundings or other aspects of something string material consisting of threads of cotton hemp or other material twisted together to form a thin length rubble rubble means waste or rough fragments of stone brick concrete etc especially as debris from the demolition of buildings cinnamon an aromatic spice made from the peeled dried and rolled bark of a south east asian tree clutching grasp something tightly 
aversion, a strong dislike or disinclination. Abruptly, suddenly and unexpectedly. Loaves, bread shaped and baked in one piece, which is usually sliced before being eaten. Kora, meditation performed by Buddhist believers, not only Buddhists, Hindus also. Ducking back, going inside and then coming out. Size me up, to look at someone attentively. Clambered, move or climb in an awkward way. Drogba. Drogba means shepherd. Gazelle, an African or Asian mammal with large eyes that moves quickly in hooves. I told you, species of a deer. Nibbling, take a small bite from. Arid, having little or no rain. Pastures, land covered with grass. Frown. To disapprove of something. Bounding. Jump, hop, bounce. Wild as an animal who have ears shorter than a horse and smaller in size. Herd. A large group of animal. Galloping. Progressing in an uncontrollable manner. En masse. In a group. Maneuvers. Military exercises. Plumes. Trails. Blowed, filled with air, swelled out. Wilderness means wasteland, solitary, it means lonely or private. Frogs, a group of birds, evasive, slippery, veering, to change direction suddenly, shaggy, bushy or hairy. Swerve, change direction suddenly. Ferocious, cruel or violent. Mastiffs, a dog who is a strong breed with dropping ears, shaggy ears. Glinting, sparkle or twinkle. Meanders, to follow a winding course of a river or road. Dopped. Spread a thick sticky substance on a surface carelessly. Lichen, a slow growing plant which grows on walls, trees or rocks. Children, it's a moss, because another name is moss. A green color, in Hindi we say kai. A green color thing which just uh, gets collected in a watery surface or the place which is frequented with water. Clung. Hold tightly onto something. Swathe. A long strip of land. Pettered out. To diminish gradually and stop. Encrusted. Decorated with a hard surface layer. Slither. To move smoothly over a surface. Fling. Throw. Lurching. Listing. Throb, pulsate, ascent, climb on, and an upward slope means climb upwards. Cairn of rocks, the pile of stone on the top of the mountain, especially where someone is buried, festooned, decorated. Career down, singing the slope, salt flats. Thatched roof covered with snow. Pockmarked, disfigured with a scar. Brackish, slightly salty water. Vestiges, a trace of something that is disappearing. Laden, means loaded. Grim, ugly or grey. Accumulated, Gathered, venerated, respected. Cosmology, science about the origin and development of the universe. Flanks, sides, 
फॉज पुट टुगेदर बिल्डअप फिल्दी डर्टी राग स्क्रैप क्लॉथ सॉलिट्री प्राइवेट कन्फाइनमेंट डिटेंशन और कैप्टिविटी स्टाक प्लेन सेंटिटी प्योर पैराफर्नेलियम मिसलेनियस आर्टिकल्स पैलेट्स शॉर्ट्स डी रिलेक्ट रिंड हीप्स लूड्स विस्प a small amount of something rudimentary basic or primary in congress strange brook a small stream pondering thinking well trodden much frequented by travelers cavernous vast Wreathed, twisted, stout, firm. Tiresome, dull and boring. Transpired, leaked. Envisaged, predicted. Devout, deep. Prostrating, lying down. so children that was all about the word meaning and summary of the chapter silk road and definitely it will benefit you the detailed explanation of the chapter will follow in the next video till then thank you and goodbye